Hi, this is Munson from Munson Music, and we're going to talk about how you can play a really easy song to start out with called Blister in the Sun. And it starts out with, with kind of a lead-off lick, working off the, off the low E string. So we play 3rd fret on the low E, and then we're going to play 2nd fret on the A string, and then 3rd fret on the A string, and then go back to 2nd fret on the A string. So we got 3, 2, 3, 2, and then we play 3rd fret on the low E, and then we play 2nd fret on the A, but then we go back to 3rd fret on the low E, and then play 3rd fret on the A, and then go back to 2nd fret on the A. So then we got 3, 2, 3, 3, 2, and then the last part we're going 3rd fret on the low E, and then 2nd fret on the A, and then 3rd fret on the A, and then 2nd fret on the A, and then back to 3rd fret on the low E. So you got all together, you got 3, 2, 3, 2, 3, 2, 3, 3, 2, 3, 2, 3, 2, 3, 2, 3. And then it kind of sounds like there's like a percussion thing, right? The snare drum's going, get, 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 get. So one thing I like to do is, is I'll take my, my left hand and just kind of kill all the strings with the guitar so that I get kind of a percussive sound out of the guitar. And then I'll just do a down, up, down, up, just to kind of simulate the snare drum part. So... You got low E on the third, second fret on the A, third fret on the A, second fret on the A, and then third fret on the low E, and then second fret on the A, and then third fret on the low E, and then third fret on the A, and then second fret on the A, and then third fret on the low E, and then second fret on the A, and then third fret on the A, and then second fret on the A, and then third fret on the low E, and then so you got. That's kind of your verse. <laughs> um, it, it's really just that lick. Um, now, now the chords that it's kind of implying is kind of a, 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 a G major chord. So if you wanted like just a really easy way to strum it instead of working the lick, you could take the first finger and put them on the A string on the second fret. The second finger is going low E on the third fret. Third finger is going to the high E on the third fret. And if you strum all those together, that makes a G major chord that sounds really, really happy. And one of my favorite 4-4 four, four strum patterns is down, down, up, up, down, up. So you could kind of take the right hand and go down, down, up, up, down, up, and then try that a lot on the G. So our verse is kind of G, down, down, up, up, down, G, down, down, up, up, down, G, down, down, up, up, down, G. And then G, down, up, up, down, G. I really like using the lick myself though. Because that way people immediately know that, that hey, that's let's turn the song, the song. All right, so, but, but then from there we're going to the chorus. And the way the chorus works, we, we go to an E minor chord. And we play E minor, first finger is going to go to the A on the second fret. The second finger is going to go to the D on the second fret. And if you strum all those strings together, then that sounds like E minor chord. It sounds really sad, it might make you cry. So we go E minor, E minor, but then we go to a C major chord. And the way you play C major, first finger goes to the B on the first fret, second finger goes to the D on the second fret, third finger goes to the A on the third fret. And to get the clear sound out of a C chord, you play just the A string and the high E string. But if you miss and hit the low E, it's actually part of the chord too, so it doesn't really matter. <laughs> well, it matters a little bit. Um, so you got E minor, E minor. back to G major, and then we go to a D major chord, and the way you play D major, first finger goes to the G on the second fret, second finger goes high E on the second fret, and the third finger goes to the B string on the third fret, and that's kind of the chord that's going on there, it, it, D major, D major, so if we're going to add the strum pattern to that, that down, down, up, up, down, up actually works completely for this part, so we have E minor, down, down, up, up, down, E minor, down, So I like doing down ups for that. Down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. And then I'll kind of kill the strings. So you got D down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. So 
through that whole course with the strum pattern. You got E minor down, down, up, up, down, minor down, down, up, up, down, C down, down, up, up, down, C down, down, up, up, down, C down, down, up, up, down, minor down, down, up, up, down, minor down, down, up, up, down, G down, down, up, up, down, D down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. And then you'd be back to the lick. So you got the G lick. So got the, the chorus part where you got the E minor down, down, up, down, E minor down, down, up, up, down, C down, down, up, up, down, C down, down, up, up, down, minor down, down, up, up, down, minor down, down, up, up, down, C down, down, up, up, down, C down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. experiment with some other ways to do that muting part too but that's the basics of how you can play blister in the sun so good luck <laughs>